Hi friends, uh, this is Akhilesh from askyourqueries.com. Uh, so today we'll be looking into how to connect to an FTP server uh, using command line. So first of all, let's uh, uh, start the command line. Uh, command line you can start using go to programs, put uh, cmd. Probably you will get this link. The first the first thing we have to do is to verify whether FTP is available or not. Uh, basically the FTP client is available or not. Uh, then let's uh, try it first. Okay, so you see this particular uh, error. FTP is not okay, or internal uh, or external command. So basically first we need to configure this. Uh, sometimes uh, I also encounter this issue on my machine. So probably we need to check in where actually the FTP binary is installed on your machine. So probably you can go to your C, go to your Windows folder, go to your System32, SY System32, yeah, you are there. And let's type in FTP. Okay so you see here it is so the best thing to do is copy the URL from here go to my computers right click go to properties properties you will have advanced systems let me bring this down and then you have environment variable now in environment variable you will see something like a path so basically you have to set your path so that command line can take it from there so I go edit I put in here C system 32 send colon and just ok so one thing to remember whenever you edit the path just try to uh, restart the command line so probably after start closing and starting it again then it will uh, take your settings so see if you see this is a problem here so probably we'll go here control R oh Windows R sorry so you can type in Windows R and then probably then you can type in CMD it will start now probably it should take things yeah if you see this console probably yeah so that means uh, it has recognized uh, your FTP from the system path so let me just do by okay so now let me minimize this and let us come to the steps so first step is verify FTP availability so if it is not configured then set up the FTP path so let me put this and then uh, once this is done so probably I will mark it as done the second part is connect to FTP server now to connect to FTP server is a bit straight so you type in so probably I will use my FTP server that I have so probably if you need to type in FTP then I have mine so I will type in mine ask your queries gone so once you are done with this probably it should connect yeah so it's telling you connected to askyourqueries.com welcome this is this blah blah and then probably it will ask you and it has the it will say you 15 minutes of inactivity will disconnect you from the server so now you have to put in your user so I will put in my username slash at the rate tp oh sorry I just forgot it ok So probably after this, it will prompt you for a password. So your username is correct. Then probably let me get a password quickly. So I'll put in my cop cut. I had copied, so I will paste it. So once you paste it, yeah. So so it basically got connected. Now the it will get connected to your default configured path on your FTP server so so once you get connected you can also uh, see the mm, contents on the server uh, 
on the particular path or directory so to, to, to view that you do ls so it will give you or I think so pwd should give you the path yeah so it, it will give the path and if you see here it could it, it gives the file listed wait a second I don't know how it got yeah so let me see if I can show you this is the file so now probably uh, thing is right we got connected using uh, this path so whatever files gets downloaded will get downloaded to this path there are many other ways like if you want to uh, download a file to a particular path then also you can do that also so first to keep it simple we'll just download it so so we do get get is a command used to mm, get the files from the server so you do get and you okay probably before that we need to set some flags so basically the one is you set a binary mode okay and after that you set hash mode and then probably then after that you do get minify.php so once you get this so it should download the file without any error okay so you got this port command successfully connecting port file successfully transmitted okay so now so if you go to this particular path uh, which I showed you earlier see users probably my folder and probably you should see the minify php yeah you see the this so it got downloaded successfully so if you 540 bytes and if you see this yeah it shows the same information so now this is once you get connected and you do your all stuff so so let me mark this we connected to FTP server then we entered our credentials this is also done and then download a file from server to local this is also done via get command and the last step remaining is the the last the quit so so I probably actually like I prefer buy so there is buy or quit you can use so I will use buy and yes you are done so you, it says goodbye uploaded downloaded it will give you the uh, session information how much you uploaded or downloaded from that FTP server and you get uh, the logout message and I am not this is something different okay so this is yeah this is the tutorial uh, and let me mark this one so probably we are done with this and hope you like uh, my uh, tutorial about like how to get connected to FTP server using command line and probably let me give you insight on how to this is about a command line command prompt now there are various uh, FTP clients available over internet so generally I prefer uh, FileZilla client uh, so let me just walk you through FileZilla so if you see this so this is a FileZilla client so probably this FileZilla client is something uh, so let me get to this folder let me put this folder uh, that not I was doing my files my documents I am not sure where ok let me first talk ok so let me put this my files so I have this folder created now uh, let's first configure uh, okay there are two things either you configure using your site manager so for in that case you need not uh, input your details uh, uh, more than once uh, and you it creates profile something like this so I've created already and I will also walk you through that uh, and then is the you can also use a host you can this is a uh, this options will gi this option gives you a quick way to connect to FTP server so if I try this I will quickly show you uh, okay FTP dot
um, so it will be my username after that you input so basically if, if you so there are two connections parallel we are doing the FTP part so by if you put 21 it will take it and if you don't put um, by default it will connect to 21 port as FTP works on 21 port it's conf generally configured on 21 port so let me get the password quickly so it's connected to the path and this is the way it is so now you can copy this it's just a drop trap uh, sorry uh, drag and drop so I can copy this and and it will download it so this is very quick and this is a graphical user interface to get connected to an FTP server so I was just uh, telling you at the start of the tutorial uh, so we can get connected to the FTP uh, site manager so probably let me quickly do a quit yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this can be. I will just disconnect it. So you get disconnect from server. So the connection will go, and you go to your site manager by clicking here. So probably if you see this, it's already populated. So you see the host I've put in the FTP. This is normal mode. So there are FTP. S S FTP is a secure mode or secure channel and then you put in your user you put in your password and just and then you create a profile this is something like this and then once you have created the profile in the site manager so basically just you connect you click on this it will directly so you need not uh, put in input the uh, username password and the host name again and again so this is one time and uh, it's actually easy to uh, every time connect to an FTP server then going via command line. Command line is basically the startup uh, and if you use a FTP uh, GUI client so uh, which is much preferable uh, to cut cop uh, to drag and drop to upload download it's much easy you can there are a lot of features like you can directly edit files out here I won't do that right now but yeah you can do you can edit the file names out here so so probably uh, we uh, completed with the uh, FTP connection via command line as well as FTP client FTP GUI client and let me put this here FileZilla FileZilla I hope you guys like the tutorial and please subscribe my uh, videos and like my videos for sure and yeah that's all from my side uh, thank you guys for sp for spending out spending your time and uh, looking into this video uh, so probably I will come up with more tutorials uh, just keep watching it thank you catch you later